I am now at the end of World 5-2 in front of the Dirty Colossus fight. This time I'm just going to get in there and fight him. Oh man, it's gigantic. I mean, what do you want? That's his name. Wow. You know what's kind of cool is the, uh, the rotten boss in Dark Souls 2 was basically this guy. I don't know if I've ever seen that AoE attack, because I fired arrows at him on PS3. Fire would probably be better on this guy, but I'm working with what I have. It's crazy that he just has a gun arm. That I broke the scaffolding off of. It's a little distressing to me that I'm dealing this little damage. Considering how much I've stomped everything else with my uh, powered up weapon once I started pumping uh, magic. Can you believe this is the son of that filthy woman, the filthy lady, whatever she's called, the shopkeeper? This is him, this is the guy. Poor guy. I'm putting him out of his misery, if you ask me. Anyway, let's just end this fight, please. That was the Dirty Colossus, just circle straight from the death. There it is. And up ahead is maybe the most depressing part of the entire game. But first, I'll go ahead and take the eroded demon's soul and see if the teleporter tells me anything. Beyond the swamp, filled with poisonous jellyfish and giant slugs, is a cavern that absorbs all that is unclean, and a shrine of rotten trees erected in honor of a demon. Oh, well, okay, they're setting up the next boss fight, which is a little strange. But alright, there you go. Rotting Haven for Lady Astraea. We'll do that later.